Hey guys, this is Hannah here, uh, coming to you live from my little shelter in my backyard. Um, just making you a video today about uh, cabbage tree leaves. So I'll just show you um, some good cabbage tree uh, leaves to use uh, and some not so good ones. Um, so so you guys can uh, have uh, better luck using cabbage tree leaves when you're trying to light your fires. Um, yeah, so here's one example of a not so good one. It's all curly, it's pretty hard, it's pretty tough. just want to show you guys what this looks like when I try and break it down. So, this is my process for breaking down cabbage tree leaves. I just sort of roll it between my hands. And you'll see that this isn't really breaking down. Usually a good leaf would be breaking down a lot faster than that. But this one, yeah, not so good, eh? So... They're pretty leathery, they're pretty tough. I'll just go a zoom in on that one for you. It's pretty, um, yeah, it's not pretty good. Not very good at all. This one, on the other hand, is pretty good. You can see it's quite, quite thin, quite papery, quite soft. Just check these other ones. Yeah, they're about the same. But yeah, this is alright. So, I'll show you guys this one in comparison. No, oh, hang on. Can you see all the stuff coming off it? That is good. So, that's what your cabbage tree leaf should look like after about 30 seconds of processing. Um, it does take a good two to three minutes, maybe even five, depending on what you've got. But two to three minutes should be enough, really, and you just kind of like pull it, start pulling it apart. Like this. Yep. You just keep rolling it. You'll notice how the difference between using something like this and something like this. If it's not looking like this, just don't even bother. Just keep, just find another leaf. So this cabbage tree leaf has been out in the rain. I can feel it's quite damp. And I know already that this is going to be quite hard to light. So that's the reality of um, using cabbage tree leaves is that they often aren't dry enough unless it's been really sunny that day. Good for, if it's a sunny day, no need to worry. They dry pretty quick anyway. Um, the fibers themselves, once they're broken down, they dry quite quickly. But I'm gonna show you guys how hard it is actually to light damp cabbage tree leaf fibers as well. So I can add that into the guide. Just giving you guys a heads up about damp fibers, not good. So, um, these are about ready to go. If I can get a spark going in this, I'd be pretty surprised. But um, yeah, I'm kind of yeah a little bit skeptical. But um, I'll just give it a shot to make sure that it's perfect. Actually, processing these fibers will sort of aid the drying process as well. So the more you kind of break it down in your and create the heat in your hands, it'll it'll also help for the dry as well. So kind of putting it's kind of like putting it in like a, a dryer or something just rolling it around in the heat so it helps all right so here's my little that's that's just made from one leaf that's pretty much all you need sometimes two three depending on um, how much leaf you've got you sometimes you might want to cut off a wet the wet end of it so like this end here I'd cut that off because it's pretty um, it's pretty wet, but look at this. I just want to show you this. See that? It's, oh. Can you see how this is kind of crumpling there? That is a good sign that this is a really good leaf. So this is a great leaf, actually, for um, cabbage tree fibers. If that was a little drier, that would be perfect. But yeah, that's, that's a telltale sign, the flakiness on the end. I'll just try and flake it off for you. 
Can you see that flakiness? Yeah, that's a, that's a sign that it's been degraded perfectly. I'll actually peel that off because it's quite nice to look at. Look, check, check out these fibers in there. Beautiful. Okay. So I'll give, give this a shot at light. Try and light this. Oh, yeah, which brings me to my other point. If your fibers are wet, just shove it in your pocket. Spend time collecting firewood. That's what I that's what I do. And just come back to it when you're ready to light it. But I'm just gonna show you guys how kind of hard it is. So let me find my fire lighter. Which pocket is it in? This one. Okay. So this is my light my fire fire lighting um, thing. What do you call it? I just call it a flint, a flint and steel. Just kind of aim it into the middle. Oh, see, look, I'm getting a flame, but it's going out pretty quick. Did you guys see that? That's because these fibers are damp. Well, you've got to make sure the fibers are all nice and dry. See, I'm getting very close, but it's going out because the fibers aren't completely dry. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll show you. So what you can do with that is just put it in your pocket. Forget about it. Let your body heat continue the drying um, of that. So this is how quick it should be, really, if you have dry fibers. This, these are fibers that I broke down yesterday and they've been in my pocket. They're like completely dry. So once I like that, once you like this, it's time to get get your get your manuka sticks ready. These ones like this. Get those ready to put on straight uh, straight away. Then you get your leaves, your sticks, hold it over but not on it, just over it. Now wait for that, wait for it to catch. These are all pretty damp, that's why there's a lot of smoke. Then you get your little sticks. Get some little sticks ready. This will all go down pretty fast. This is just to get the fucking heat, the heat going. Just chuck your little sticks on there. Yeah, you can hear the sizzle of those wet sticks. That's why you want to make sure you got heaps. But yeah, lighting a good fire is all about preparation. Being prepared and not being lazy. Like not just settling for 
wet cabbage leaves, you know, you actually have to make sure you got everything prepared before you go about lighting a fire. A lot, a lot of times I'm just like, oh, I'll just use a tiny bit of cabbage leaf, say I found just a little bit, I'll be like, oh, that's enough. Then it never lights, you know. You, I always find, oh, I need more, you know, so you just, you have to be prepared, eh? Oh, that's a good fire. But yeah, that's all I basically wanted to show you guys in this video. Um, just introduce you guys to cabbage tree leaves as a uh, tinder material. And uh, make sure you go out and get yourself one of these. This is a light my fire flint uh, and steel uh, set. Um, these, it's the light my fire brand from Sweden. And I really enjoy using these ones. It's magnesium. And uh, yeah, so it's basically just a 40 foot on a 45 degree with the steel, and just like, like that. So, if you're interested and you want to learn more, uh, give me an email, and um, yeah, I'm more than happy to share some skills, share some knowledge with you. Cheers, bye.